If you've watched a few of my videos, you might notice that I'm a bit of a dabbler in many different metaphysical traditions. And I think that's healthy in the sense that we need to sample things to know what works for us. Uh, if we just go all in on the first thing we try because we won't have some serious dedication to finish what we start, we don't know, we haven't explored enough of the worlds to really figure out what's the most useful, what we really can get behind, what works for our own minds. All that to say that numerology is something that I've had a little bit of fun with. And in the spirit of April Fool's Day, I want to talk about the energy of the day. Now, there's two ways to look at April Fool's Day. Well, there's more, of course. You can use any sort of system. But what I recommend, unless you're like me and really in the dabbling phase or can juggle all these systems, is just to choose one way of interpretation and work with that for a while. If Western astrology is your thing, just work with that for a while. If you want to look at the months in the Chinese astrology, so on. So the two I wanted to introduce today were the numerology of the number one and the tarot, which also relates with numerology because you figure out the days by reducing it to a single digit and then you see what number that is in the tarot. So it's the day of the magician in the tarot. And the magician, along with the numerology of number one, really is all about the creation. It's after zero, the potential, we have the one creation. And so now what I want to share about the magician today, I've written a blog post about this, but if there's anyone, if there's any one being creating your experience, your world, your inner world, it's you. And I want that to really sink in. The only one Okay, that was some mysterious winds that, you know, maybe there's more beyond one, but Regardless, we're talking about the inner world experience, which interacts with some other forces. Who knows? The only one person creating your experience is you, the way you look at things, the way you use the various elements of reality to formulate your current given perspective and experience, what you focus on. So that's really powerful. You know, today's a really powerful day to work with that energy and to see if I'm not feeling or experiencing what I want, what am I creating? What have I been focusing on? Now on the numerology side of things, the day of one is pioneer energy. It is breaking through. It is doing this thing that no one has done, breaking new ground. And of course that means in the interior work you can really try some new experience or new thing and see how it goes for you. And be a little bit bold and uh, adventurous as well. So you can apply this throughout the month if you want to look up numerology. There's plenty of websites that can give you the number of each day and see if you want to play with that or if you want to work through the tarot and say tomorrow t number two is the high priestess. What high priestess thing can I do today? You know, And get really creative and fun with it and see if aligning yourself with one of those systems for the month of April really changes things. And it's guaranteed it will change things, but it, does it change things in a way that you are motivated to stick with it? It's inspiring and exciting? Or is it like, oh, yeah, I kind of see this, or the numerology is a bit, you know, it's a bit esoteric for me, or what have you. You know, you, tr you pick something up, and you can also put it down as well. So, no pressure. But have, a, have a good day being a fool, and uh, 
I promise I wasn't trying to trick anyone in this video.